Hello and welcome to Easy Maths. In today's lesson, I'm going to take you through the um, loci of inequality. And my approach in this area will be we use questions that will bring the idea of uh, loci of inequality. In that regard, I have, I have some two questions that I want us to consider. And so let's begin with the first one. We're given a, um, a question there that we told draw the locus of points that satisfy y plus 3x is less than or equal to 7 and y is less than 4x plus 14 y is greater than or equal to 0 um, we should know that we are supposed to draw these on the Cartesian plane and therefore we're not going to consider the inequalities rather we will consider their equations that means we're going to have y plus 3x is equal to 7, y is equal to 4x plus 14, and y is equal to 0. I'm not going to delve into how to, to draw these lines. Uh, hopefully, you're able to draw at this stage. But let me mention a few things about every line. So the first line here, we wrote this equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. m being the gradient and c is the y-intercept. In this case, m will be negative 3. That means... This line is a negative line. It's a line with a negative gradient and cuts the y-axis at 7. For the next one, the gradient is, this line is already in the y is equals to mx plus c general form. And therefore, m is 4 and x and, and c is 14. The gradient is 4, cut the y-axis at, at 14. The other one is just the, the x-axis. Hopefully, you're aware of that at this point. And so... We're going to have the Cartesian plane like that, and so I I just drew the first line, y plus 3x is equal to 7. Well, how you draw that, I really don't have to delve into that, but the line should be dropping this particular way, cutting the y-axis at 7. Now, we're going to test which side we should shade because of the kind of inequality that we're given. And to test that, we're going to use the point 0, 0, 0. that is the origin. We need the point where x and y are both 0 and 0. And therefore, for the inequality that was given, this one, that is the inequality that was given there, the value of x is 0, put the value of y also to be 0, because of the 0, 0 for x and y respectively up here. Up here. So you put the value of x and y to be 0 in both cases. That reduced to 0 is less than or equal to 7. Now, this makes mathematical sense. S zero is a number that is smaller than the number seven. And that means the point we have picked, that's the point O, the point O, the point zero zero, is in the wanted region because after replacing or testing here, it turns out that zero is less than or equal to seven, which is a mathematically sensible expression. It will, if it was zero is greater than or equal to seven, we would have said the opposite here. The point would be in the unwanted but in this case it is in the wanted region and therefore this being the origin that's the point o o it is in the wanted we don't want the other side let's move on to the next line we have y is equals to 4x plus 14. Uh, this line here i've drawn it broken because of the type of inequality it is strictly less than the previous case was just less than or equal to that's why that's why we drew a continuous line but the broken one is because it is strictly less than going on to test we use the point o again that's o zero zero uh, for the inequality that was given if x and y are replaced by zero like putting zero here and zero for the value of x here the inequality will simply be zero is less than or less than 14. This again is a mathematically sensible expression, and that means the point we have picked is in the wanted region. The origin here is in the wanted region. That means you don't want the other side of that red line, and so we shade it away like that. Going on to the last question, the last line, we have the, equal the inequality was y is greater than or equal to zero. Obviously, it's the x axis, I say that, and the x axis, the equation is normally y is equal to zero. 
and it means the inequality means that you want values of x values of y that are big that are bigger than zero like one two three or any number that is just bigger than zero is one of the numbers that are required and obviously we don't want numbers less than that and therefore we shared the numbers that are less than that and that gives us a region there that is enclosed and that is the wanted region so in our drawing of the locus or point that satisfy these inequalities we are going to have that region left out there and that becomes our answer let's move on to another question we told draw the locus of points that satisfy the inequality x plus 1 is squared plus y minus 2 squared is less greater than, greater than 25 well this looks like equation of us of a, of a circle if i replace the inequality with an equal sign it'll be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 25 therefore this is how it looks um, if you're familiar with a general equation of a circle and what it means the, the it's normally written this particular way you should replace this with an equal sign uh, and the a b means the circle center and the r is the radius of that particular circle and therefore for this given equation here we can actually write it this particular way this double this negative here is this one but because this was positive it means we had another negative that is negative for the one and everything else is just easy since b is negative 2 sorry b is 2 and r is 5 and therefore we can say that the circle center is negative 1 2 and the radius is 5 when this point when the value of a here is positive it means x coordinate of the circle center is negative and and this th when this value here is negative it means the y value for the circle center is positive now with that we're going to draw the the circle with a root center of negative one two and radius of five and therefore we have a point like this the point c which i'm calling the circle center negative one two is negative one two so we assume that's the point there and since the radius is 5 it means moving leftwards from negative 1 it will take us up to negative 6 moving rightwards from negative 1 it means we're going up to 4 positive 4 moving upwards sorry moving downwards from 2 that's the y value moving down it'll take us up to negative 3 and moving upwards it takes up to 7 therefore the circle should touch those points i've just indicated there and, and that's a circle there the inequality was telling us that uh, those values of the s those values there the values on the left hand side are strictly greater than that which is the the, the radius was five that means the that means that uh, the values that are wanted are outside the circle because of the type of inequality we have i have drawn a broken continuous line like that but we want the values that are strictly greater than 5 squared that means then we have the region that i have indicated there and how that explains uh, what um, the question requires drawing the locus of points that satisfy the inequality the values of x the values for these equations that are outside 5 and so that's the answer there moving on to another question We're told um, a rectangle where BCD is such that AB is 9 centimeters and BC is 5. Um, a variable P moves inside the rectangle such that AP is less than or equal to PB and AP is greater than 4. Show the region where P lies and find the area of this region. So, first of all, we need to have the rectangle and that's it ABCD. AB is 9 and uh, BC is 5. Um, we're told that a variable P moves inside the rectangle such that AP is strictly left is less than or equal to pb i mean if we for a moment imagined this equation written as ap is equal to pb then p would be the set of points that perpendicularly bisect the line ab and consequently also perpendicularly bisect dc and that that means the line the point p would be this green line that i've dropped there but because of the type of equality we're told ap is less than or equal to that means the, po the points p are either on along the line or on the left side of the line according to this other inequality we are supposed to, to
to have a point P such that T is greater than 4 but within the rectangle. That means um, this this is a set of points that satisfy these other inequality if this is 4 centimeters. We stand at point A and draw a, cent a quarter circle that way and the inequality is greater than that means we should have um, a broken line. But where are the points, where are the values of the, um, so where can P be lying? P is outside that because it is greater than 4 and this radius here is 4. So P is anywhere outside the quarter circle all the way going that particular way up to every point along the line going back to the quarter circle. So that's where the point P line, the, the shaded green region. So show the region, we have shown it, and find the area. The area will be simple because it's just area of a rectangle minus area of a quarter circle. The rectangle is uh, this rectangle here, and therefore the area of the rectangle is 5 times 4.5. This distance here is 5 so times 4.5 minus the area of a quarter circle, pi r squared all over, all over 4, and continue to finish the question with the 9.93 centimeter squared. Moving on to uh, our last question, we told draw the locus of points that satisfy both inequalities y is less than or equal to x and y plus x is greater than or equal to 0. On a diagram, draw the locus of points which are equidistant from the lines y is equal to x and uh, y plus x is equal to 0 and is uh, in the wanted region. So what is the equation of this line? What range of values of x is the equation valued? Um, we should realize that the y is less than or equal to x and implies this line and y plus x is greater than or equal to 0 implies this other line. So first of all, let's have the Cartesian plane as the one I have on the screen there. And we draw the first line. Therefore, we say y is less than or equal to x implies that equation. Since we don't draw inequalities of a line, we draw, equ we draw um, equations of a line, not inequalities. Uh, and therefore, there is a set of points like the ones that have appeared on the screen there for which whatever value we have for y is the same value we have for x. For example, this point here is 1, 1, meaning x and y are both 1. This point here is 2, 2, meaning x and y are both 2. This point here, that is the origin, are 0, 0. That means x and y are both 0. This point here, the x and y values are negative 1, negative 1. And the same thing for this negative 2, negative 2. Therefore, that is a set of points which satisfy this particular equation. This, this, this is the line y is equal to x. We want to test which side we should shade because of the type of inequality we're given. So let's use the point P10. We clearly can see that point P10 is that point, somewhere along the x-axis, that way. And we can see which side it is of the line. And therefore, if we put in this e inequality, if we put x to be 1 and y to be 0, as the coordinates of P suggests, we're going to have 0 is less than or equal to 1. This is mathematically sensible, and therefore we can say this is in the wanted region. So the point P is in the wanted region. We don't want the other side, and so we shade it out. We move on to the next line where we were told y plus x is greater than or equal to 0. Again, the line is uh, y plus x is equal to 0, and that's the set of points there. The, the similarity between this line and the one we've just done is that if you take x the other side, it becomes negative. So we have y is equal to negative x. That means for what value we have for x, y is n but negative. Like this point here is negative 2, 2, meaning x is negative 2, y is 2. This point here is negative 1, 1, meaning x is negative 1, 1 is 1. 0, 0, 0 is neg never a negative number. We don't have such a thing like negative 0. So 0, 0. This point here is 1, negative 1. This point here is 2, negative 2. And therefore, that's the set of lines. That's the set of points which satisfy the line y is equals to y plus x is equals to 0. Or if you like, y is equals to negative x. Going on to test which side we should shade, put, we again consider the point P, 1, 0. The same point we used. If we put the value of P of x in this inequality to be 1 and y to be 0, we're going to have 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And this is mathematically sensible. That means the point we have picked is in the wanted region. Again, we shade the unwanted. P 
be is in the wanted we don't want the other side of that line so we shade it away the way it is appeared on the screen there and so i think we have drawn the locus of points that satisfy the, those two inequalities we're supposed to draw the locus of points for which the line for points which are equidistant to the lines y is equals to x and y plus x is equals to zero maybe i should say that uh, this is the wanted region we wanted eh? this is the wanted region we don't want any other region. That's where we have the, the big R there. Now, the points that are equidistant from the lines, if just a perpendicular bisector of the line y is equal to x and the line y, and the angle between, sorry, it's an um, angle bisector of, of the angle between the line y is equal to x and the line y plus x is equal to 0. And that's just the x axis. So the points equidistant from the lines is just the x-axis and the equation of that line is y is equal to zero. We are also told to use the equation of the line, so it is y is equal to zero. We've just done that in a previous question, by the way. So for what range of values of x is the equation valued? Um, so because we want the, the points to be in the wanted region, it means these are the values of x for which x is greater than or equal to zero. Um, this is greater than or equal to, not just greater than, because the origin is part of it because of the type of inequalities we were given at the beginning. You see, the points satisfying this first inequality are every point along this line and on this side of P. The same case for the other line. If it's every point along this line and that other side of P. That means within the line and in the region I have indicated R there. Therefore, and the point zero, 0, that is the origin, is part of it. So it's x value is still valid for that value when x is 0. Sorry, the valid values are for when x is 0 or any value that's bigger than that to infinity. Having thus said, um, uh, I think I am done. Thank you for, for watching. Uh, look out for the next tutorial.